You're listening to the WSTC News Podcast. And now, today's news anchors. Hello, and welcome to this WSTC News Podcast. I'm Caden Ryan. And I'm Zach Schneider. This student-operated podcast is brought to you by the Belmont and Harrison Career Center and St. Clairsville High School. First up today, the Renton United Way has met its 2017 fundraising goal. The organization hosts five major fundraisers throughout the year. While the campaign lasts a little longer than anticipated, they are happy to say they hit their goal of $260,000. On Wednesday, local leaders met to share with the community how the money will be spent. All of the money will stay local and will be used for after-school programs, preschool programs, and to improve Weirton's Christian Center. The United Way also provides services such as rent and utility assistance, food and clothing for those who are in need, literacy programs, and disaster relief. Next, in an executive order signed Wednesday, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo granted 35,000 paroled felons the right to vote. The move by the second-term Democrat came after state Republicans blocked a bill in the state Senate. The new directive includes New York and a list of 14 states and the District of Columbia that allow felons to vote in elections after serving their sentence. Republican Senate leader John Flanagan said Wednesday that the order was bad public policy and could potentially be illegal because the governor ignored the legislature. Ed Cox, chairman of the state Republican Party, in a statement called the directive an outrageous power grab in a bid to appeal to radical primary voters, according to the New York Times. At St. C. High School, the end of April means musical season. This year's show, Sister Act. Here's Caden Ryan with more on the story. With musical season approaching, let's get some feedback from a few of the cast members. Here's senior Shayna Thornton on her final thoughts on this year's spring musical. It's a really good musical to do for everyone in the senior class because it just incorporates everyone together as one. When we work together on stage, it just brings a new atmosphere of love and happiness. Here's director Mr. Wayne Burke. So this year's high school musical is called Sister Act, and it's uh, based off of the movie version that a lot of people have seen. And of course it was adapted for Broadway, and so uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. It's great music, um, kind of a, a comedy, it's more of a comedy than I've ever done before. And uh, so there's lots of fun, lots of laughs, and uh, yeah, we're working hard at getting it ready to put on a week from this Thursday, May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, and, and uh, April 26th, 27th, and 28th. This year's High School Musical will be held in St. Clair's Auditorium. Tickets start at $7, and all shows start at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there. Here's Junior Tavian Harris. Uh, I'm pretty excited. It's a funny show. Um, it's a lot of good singing and acting. It's very funny, and uh, I'm just super excited for everyone to see it. Reporting for WSEC Podcast, I'm Caden Ryan. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us for more WSTC News. Who will be this week's special guest in Conversation Corner? And, of course... WSTC Sports. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsor. Carry on, carry on. Let's carry on and take advantage of the opportunities offered at the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers and learn a trade while earning your high school diploma at the same time. Check out interesting and challenging programs right now. Business, skilled trades, technical, mechanical, or personal services. You'll find Belmont and Harrison Career Centers facilities and programs truly amazing. See your guidance counselor or call the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers today at 740-695-9130 or visit their website at www.bhccenters.com. Welcome back to the WSTC News Podcast. This is today's segment of Conversation Corner with our special guest, Coach Clifford. Coach Clifford is the senior English teacher and high school basketball coach here at St. Clairsville High School. He is a literature lover, a fantastic storyteller, and he will be sharing some great things with us today. Welcome and thank you, Coach Clifford, for being on the podcast today. Thank you for having me. All righty, I have a few questions for you to kick off this episode of Conversation Corner. First, what are a few of your favorite things about teaching? Well, absolutely, the students. You know, the inner um, talk with the students uh, every day. 
I try to teach them what I know, and they certainly teach me a lot every day about what's going on in the world and uh, just their own personality. So that's my favorite part of uh, I still do like the literature and the teaching, writing, and that, but the students are my favorite part. Alrighty, what are a few hobbies that you have? I'm actually not a big hobby guy. I don't golf. Uh, I, you know, I, I used to really like to uh, fix my house up, but as I'm getting older, I'm kind of tired of doing that. <laughs> I like to be kind of uh, eclectic, like I can get into a lot of different things. Um, sometimes I call myself the seat filler. Some people will buy tables maybe at a political rally or they'll buy a table at a, a music event and they'll say, hey, we've got an extra ticket and I'm always game for going to one of those events. Sounds cool. Alrighty, and I'm going to break up the interview with a few questions, or a few jokes actually. Alrighty, what do you call a pig who never passes the basketball? A ball hog. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. And the next one is an English one. What's the difference between a cat and a comma? Cat and a comma. Uh, a cat's tail moves and a comma <laughs> doesn't? <laughs> no, but a cat has claws at the end of its paws and a comma is a pause at the end of a clause. Awesome. I like that. Yeah, it was a little Very bit of a good. tongue twister. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get back into the questions. Where is your favorite place to eat? Well, you know, I think I really don't have a favorite place. I mean, if you said, do you like to go to Panera? I would say yes. Do you like to go to uh, any of the pizza shops? I would say yes. I usually like to go to places that have the food that they advertise. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been to places where there like, might be a chicken place and they were <laughs> out of chicken. Yep. <laughs> uh, so um, I, I really don't have a favorite place. Uh, Fabio's is a good pizza place. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, along with the other. So it, I really don't have one particular place. Alrighty. And then finally, can you name three things that your students <clears throat> probably don't know about you? Well, when I think of these, this question, I, I, I always think that the students probably don't know that I was brought up in very humble beginnings. Uh, you know, I didn't have much growing up in, the, in uh, as far as money. Wise, I mean, I had a lot. Uh, my family provided a lot of, you know, the love and essentials. But, uh, you know, money wasn't a, a big deal. I grew up in Bel Air, and uh, um, but I wouldn't change that for anything. Uh, the, probably the second thing students don't know that I just really love music um, and all kinds of music. I mean, if you would look at my uh, uh, Pandora playlist, it's pretty eclectic, where there's every kind of uh, genre on there and uh, I don't know if students realize that. And the third thing probably they don't know is that I really think that I can dance and I really, <laughs> I really cannot. <laughs> I, I've seen myself dancing when I thought, oh, you know, this is, I'm really in, I'm getting this yeah. and that doesn't work. So those are probably the three things that just, you know, in a, in a wide range of, uh, of things. Sweet. Alrighty, thank you so much for being on our podcast today. We always enjoy having guests on the show. It was really fun and we learned a lot about you. And since I have you in class this year, I can say firsthand that we are very lucky to have you at St. Clairsville High School. You've impacted many of our students in great ways, and we want to thank you for your commitment to serve our community just as wholeheartedly in the classroom as you do on the court. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in. There's more to come. Up next, WSTC Sports. And now, and now WSTC Sports, Sports with Craig Furkowski and Trey Dogozo. First up on the sports dial, it's playoff time in the NHL. The Pittsburgh Penguins are up 3-1 in their series against Philadelphia. The Pens 5-0 win against the Flyers on Wednesday night in Game 4 at Wells Fargo Center put them in the driver's seat. After posting two more points in Game 4, Pittsburgh standout Sidney Crosby now has 17 goals in 10 career playoff games at Wells Fargo Center. The home ice for the Flyers. Crosby's second point of the game was a nice wraparound goal that he tucked in past the goalpost. It was also his 173rd career playoff point, moving him past his boss, Mariel Lemieux, and into sole possession of first place in the franchise's all-time postseason scoring list. And now from the ice to the softball diamond. When two of the premier high school softball teams and pitchers meet, fans can expect a good, exciting game. That's what those attending Wednesday's game between Wheeling Central and St. Clairsville were treated to. 
The Red Devils remain the only unbeaten team in the Ohio Valley Athletic Conference with a very close 4-3 win over visiting Wheeling Central at Lady Red Devils Field on North Market Street. Both teams were leading their respective divisions, Class 4A and Class 3A. The Lady Red Devils are now 12-0. Senior standout Amaya Smith received the win. She finished with nine strikeouts and didn't walk a batter. She also carried a two-hit shutout all the way into the sixth inning. I'm with junior Taylor Gallantine. What are a few post-game notes from yesterday's win over Wheeling Central? We had some key plays, only had one e error, and that is the least amount of errors we've had all season in a game. We stayed strong the whole game, didn't give up, and fought our hardest the whole time. And now, senior Maya Smith. Congratulations on your win yesterday. What's next for the team? Um, we're going to focus one game at a time, uh, try to remain undefeated. So far, we're 12-0, and 0, and we're going to try to carry that throughout the rest of the season. Okay, and now, finally on this WSCC News Podcast, we are going to leave you with a few Did You Know Facts. And yes, these are all true. Did you know fire usually moves faster uphill than downhill? Well, that's something new, I guess. I don't believe that. <laughs> you I think mean, it obviously, moves downhill faster. Obviously, but. it's a fact, but I don't think I believe that. I think Did someone you? got the wrong measure on that one. Did you know a duck can't walk without bobbing its head? Um, don't they shake their... I have no idea. I don't watch right. a lot of ducks walk. I just have dogs <laughs> in my house, so... Yeah, yeah, I don't really have ducks either. Did you know in 1878 the first telephone book made contained only 50 names? So in 1878, that's like a long time ago. A long, long time ago. So 50 names actually <laughs> seems, and because the telephone was probably only invented. Probably only like, one person had it. Yeah, so 50 names, like. 50 names make sense, actually. Did you know apples are more effective at waking you up in the morning than coffee? I believe that, because coffee is more like a uh, stimulant, and it's like uh, it's just like having a soda. So, And soda only gives you energy for like an hour or so, and then you just crash. I hate coffee. I hate apples. Well, okay, I'll bring you coffee, and you bring me an apple. All right. Did you know hard-boiled eggs can spin like a top? Uncooked eggs will not spin. I never knew that one. I didn't either. I like hard-boiled eggs, too, so maybe I'll have to try that tonight after work. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. We'll have to experiment on that one. Well, that's all the time we have for this WSTC News Podcast. Thanks for listening, and be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Stay classy, enjoy the last few weeks where we don't have to mow the grass, and have a great week.